All right, we're live at CPAC Florida in Orlando with Dave Bossi of Un- uh, Citizens United. All right, Dave, you just gave a uh, rousing speech downstairs. Uh, right, why are you here at CPAC Florida? You got a couple of movies? Uh, well, we, we, we do. We have, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I'm a co sponsor of uh, CPAC Florida, and we're uh, Citizens United is excited uh, uh, for its uh, first time here in Florida. Uh, we always are big supporters and, and try to participate as heavily as we can at, at CPAC in Washington, D.C. every winter. Um, having one here in Florida really broadens its horizons and brings conservatism to Florida, so we're very excited about that. Um, we're excited about the list of candidates. Uh, uh, every candidate running for president is speaking here today. Um, you know, it was really an honor to obviously be share the same stage with them, so I, I appreciate it. Uh, having that opportunity uh, and being able to deliver a conservative message to 2,000 people uh, in the auditorium today is phenomenal and it's very exciting. So we're really um, uh, looking forward. We were here for the debate last night and we're looking forward to taking the, our conservative message out across the country uh, over the next 14 months. Okay. Um, now, you said you're excited about all the candidates, but is there anyone that really stands out to you, not not just who the media thinks is the front runner, but that, in your opinion, really embodies the conservative values that CPAC is You know what? Here's the, 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 the best part about this year. Um, unlike the rest of the unlike previous years, almost every single candidate is a viable conservative. Maybe a different version of conservatism. Uh but every single one of them is a conservative. And that is an amazing statement because when you have nine people uh, on stage and every one of them is agreeing with the conservative principles of the Republican Party, uh, uh, with the Constitution, uh, with the Bill of Rights, I mean, we have a unique opportunity here to, uh, to nominate somebody and then hopefully their vice presidential nominee that are true conservatives and, and warriors for the movement. And there's half of the half of the uh, uh, folks running for office, or running for president for the, no, for the nomination, are really warriors in the movement, and I'm excited about it. Okay. And just a final question. Uh, you spoke about the Citizens United decision. Uh, what have the real-world implications of that decision been, in your opinion? Well, um, we're excited. Uh, you look, you know, whenever we're able to uh, participate in races, we win them. Uh, and so, you know, the Citizens United uh, lawsuit, the Citizens United Supreme Court victory, was a liberal incumbent's worst nightmare. We are defeating liberal uh, incumbent across the country uh, day in and day out. Uh, just last week in New York 9, uh, you know, uh, uh, our candidate, the Republican, wasn't the uh, most uh, conservative candidate. Uh, but he was certainly better than the Democrat. And winning that seat, there was ones held by Geraldine Ferraro and Chuck Schumer, uh, is a remarkable statement. So when, when outside groups are able to participate in these elections, whether it's the Wisconsin recall elections, that we, just, we held the Senate by one vote. And a lot of groups like Citizens United, we spent a lot of money in, in Wisconsin. Uh, you have um, uh, these fights with la- uh, labor all over the country. Labor is going to be able to spend money. We're able to spend money. And that's the difference. They've always been able to do it. We're now able to. So we're excited that it levels the playing field. Okay, you mentioned New York 9 and Debbie Washington Schultz actually in your speech. Uh-huh. Uh, do you really believe that that could translate here to Florida where she faces a, a re-election bid? Boy, I don't know if her own race is I, you know, I, I have never looked at her, her uh, district. However, I never looked at New York 9 either. So, okay. it, you know, if you can win, I mean, it's, if you, you know, it's like Sinatra. If you can win there, you can win anywhere. I mean, that is the, that is a, winning in New York 9 has told us that we can, we can be uh, uh, really credible and run viable races in places that we never thought we could. And this is, a, that's an exciting thing. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks very much.